the open cultural theory, uh, we, we uh, got to the moon, we went to the moon. But again, it's really limited if you want a more intelligent system to interact with in the future. And a system risk analysis, system risk from, from the social part of the story, is so limited, so limited because it is based only on statistical analysis. That's not enough to take care of all the components of our reality. Unfortunately, stochastic analysis is unable to go through the opaque veil uh, they, they get from the data. We need something more transparent. So to face the challenge of life of a complex system understanding the value of arbitrary complex multi-scale systems modeling, we need to be able to manage system uncertainty quantification from macro scale through mesoscale, t nanoscale and beyond. I give you just a visual example that is uh, currently we are still trying to focus on the problem to solve and we focus only on the system on the system in focus we have no way to model the uh, the system at the bottom and the system at the top so the final result we have a limited view of our reality and even worse we tr we completely neglect this kind of interactions that are from bottom to the middle and from uh, the top to the middle those are the main interactions that we never take, take into account with our current modeling. It has some kind of, that we call remembering from the top to the medium, and the one that, that we call revolt from the bottom to the medium. So uh, the final result is that if you want to solve our current problem, we, t we face this kind of situation. We have two solutions. We can, have, we can start from the top, going down, and so we have this kind of situation. Going down, we lose information because the noise will prevail only of the useful information and we get the signals weaker and weaker. And then if we start from the, the, the bottom, we go up and sooner or later we hit a ceiling because uh, we have a combinatorial explosion. So both ways fail, unfortunately, because they, will be, they are unable to overcome the gray area that we are interested most to, <laughs> within because the, our problems are in that area. So, is there a solution to that? We'll see. Uh, we have just to remember that complexity is the impossibility of separating a system from its context. This is, I think, the simpler definition of a complexity. A living being from its environment, an object from its measuring instrument. This is so important in science. They always present data without saying anything about the measuring instruments. And so we have two modeling understandings. The traditional one, the past one, by the first systems are simple, some of them are complicated, occasionally systems are complex, and weaker systems are exceedingly rare. Unfortunately, Fukushima tell, tell, tells us an, a different story. By the first systems are complex, Simple systems are limiting cases, includes complicated systems, and complex systems treated as if they were simple tend to generate wicked problems. So we need a new framework to work with. So you see there, we were trying to focus on the space, but from information theory, as a matter of fact, that's not the full information we, we can count on. And we have to remember that the full information in an approximative way is represented by four basic components. The direct space, that is the, our Euclidean space, the co space, the reciprocal space, and, reciprocal, and a co-reciprocal space. You see there, you see I, N, R, D, they are just the transformation of Jean Piaget. Jean Piaget. This is amazing. Uh, Jean Piaget arrived to this four basic transformation in 1955, and nobody took care of that. They just uh, through go, uh, go through the experimentation, misinterpreted completely the data that they, that they, that they, they uh, were getting. And so they just uh, put Piaget in a corner. And, and amazing, that, that is amazing. How many times in, in, in the history some, some uh, enlightened guy has a glimpse of the reality in the way it can unfold and nobody just uh, put, uh, get attention to it. And, uh, and in fact, if we use this kind of framework, then we discover that there are f three more components, but as a matter of fact, the interracial relationship with, with these three more components are so important that we never studied that. Are we smart as human beings? Oh, well. And even, even worse, we don't even think about the cross, the cross relationships that are the most important one. 
And so if you divide it into two this, this framework, you see that we have the inner universe that can be modeled by reciprocal space called reciprocal space. And then you have the outer universe that is, can be modeled with the direct space plus the co -direct space. So we get uh, res, cogitans, and rex extensa, uh, just connected by cross relationships. <laughs> now we have been able to find a solution to the previous problem, and so now we can develop uh, systems more intelligent that are able just to get that kind of, of, of behavior with no information loss. And so that's the reason I found a group that is called CICT, that is uh, Computational Information Conservation Theory. And so now we have just a choice to model system in the, in the past way, half play space, you see all the references there, the properties there, and the new framework, the OECS space, that is mainly for living matter best representation operational compromise, just in comparison to inner matter best operational representation compromise in the past. This framework is a little more complex than the previous one, but the reality is that with the previous one, you can just model this kind of reality. If for your application is enough, it's good. But if you want to model something more complex, uh, this, uh, this approach is not good at all, and you have to switch to the new one. It's more costly, for sure. It will cost twice than the previous one, but then you will be assured that you get all the information you need to avoid to be less wrong than the past. And so we have to just to remember the challenge of evolutionary learning now, because we are shared this more planet Earth, we have to learn to live in harmony and peace with each other and with nature. This is not just a dream, but a necessity. And so this is the uh, World Academy of Art and Science New Paradigm for Human Development. The human being is the source of unlimited creative potential, and the present reduction is paradigm falls for sh far short of fully developing the potential of its members. Solutions are available because utilize, unutilized human potential exists in abundance and waiting to be developed and re uh, released. For instance, Nikola Tesla was a remarkable man not only for his invention, but also for his dedication and application. It is amazing to, re to read of his inner life in a way rarely shared. According to the, uh, the Academy, New Paradigm for Human Development, as the creation of a new vision and new story for our shared future, an inspired cultural revival can be materialized in many different ways, which, however, must share a common, solid cultural background built on dedication and application. Think about when you retiring, I mean, that is the starting point for a new approach. You finish your training, you are ready to be active in the real world, to help other people to grow faster. 